Welcome in guys, I am TS Villa. We are going to play a brand new game that has just been released called Crow Country. This has vibes of Resident Evil, Final Fantasy. This is PS1 vibes and it's absolutely awesome guys. So this is going to be my first look of the game. Thank you to the guys at Neon Hive for giving us a code to the TS Villa channel. If you like the video, please make sure you do give it a like and also if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Right, let's check the game out. Listen to how eerie this <laughs> this sound. This is Crow Country, guys, as the intro said. Thank you, Neon Hive. Thank you so much, guys, for this code. We get to play it on release day. So, what we're going to do? We're going to go exploration mode or survival. On survival, so that we can get a feel of how aggressive these enemies are going to be. Okay, exploration mode. Obviously, you will not be attacked. Experience the game freely, so this is more of a story, run around kind of mode. Or we can be attacked. Let's be attacked for the sake of the video, guys. If I was on my Twitch stream, this would be story mode. <laughs> okay, right. So let's turn the uh, let's turn the me up. Turn me up here, and we will. There we go. Right. It's okay. So we've turned it down. The game is started in 1990. Okay. If anyone asks, my name is Mara. Mara Forrest. Special Agent Forrest. Okay, okay, right. Oh, she's on her own. That's me. Don't forget. Don't mess it up. Well, here we go. I thought she was talking to someone. I thought that was a taxi. <laughs> I thought she was getting a lift somewhere. <laughs> but no. She's letting us know, the players. It's going a bit dark, isn't it? Hello? Oh, <laughs> it was just loading. <laughs> I didn't know if that was my capture card. Right, okay, so... You see what I mean here? Even, they've got the... Um, What's the word? The framing of it as well. Look at that. It's chained up. That padlock looks a little rusty. It'll probably break with enough force. Oh, okay. What can we do? Oh, we've got no ammo. Head to the trunk, did she say? It's the trunk of my car. There's something important stored here. My box of hanging ammo. Just stock it up. Yes, please. I have enough. Okay, so that's the okay, so circle is shooting it and X is kind of reloading it. Okay. Wait, do you see what I mean here? So R2 is running. This is R2. She's got stamina. Oh, I like this. This is pretty awesome, isn't it? Okay guys. Reload. Bang! Here we go. <laughs> Listen to the the sound effects as well. How cool is that? Okay. So we need to remember that our stick is camera, left stick is aiming. We're in some kind of amusement park. There's a the ticket booth. Crow Country. That's why the game is called Crow Country then. Okay. It's a diagram of a video game controller. Okay. This is what's telling here. Okay, we can move with that. With the D-pad. Maybe I should use the D-pad because I've been using the stick. Uh, right. Okay. Quick turn. Down and circle. Love that. Love that in Resident Evil games. I, I probably will reference, uh, reference Resident Evil quite a bit on this actually. Uh, run is that. Hold run. That's what we just found out. Flashlight. Inventory. Exam. Raise weapon, switch weapon, grenade. Have we got a grenade? We haven't got a grenade yet. Okay, so this is inventory. <laughs> Guys, I literally just said <laughs> I'm going to reference Resident Evil quite a lot. Okay, so so this has obvious 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 vibes. Look at the look at the health. Look at the health. Look at the handgun. It's like that. Like I said, I'm getting I'm getting proper Resident Evil PS1 uh, and even Final Fantasy. The way that she's uh, 
she's structured here. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Right, okay. So we're going to go. I guess we get a grenade. I guess we're going to get a grenade later on. Listen to that. Just take that in. The atmosphere in this game already. Something's happening. What's this? Listen to that buzz. Maybe, oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't run around. Let's pick this up. It's a pocket light. Looks like somebody dropped it. This is what we use for square, okay? There you go. Oh, there's a crow. It's a big crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? Do we know where he is? <laughs> oh, man. Who's his boss? Why are we here? Okay, let's ch check the phone. There's nobody I can call. It's definitely creepy already. Fortune teller. You have 10 credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? Yes, please. Let's see what creepy stuff it comes out of. Talk to the tree fairy to enter the fairy pond. Okay. 100% crank. Let's find a crank. There's a crow country thing now. Okay. So, this isn't a tree fairy. Oh, what's this? Staff memo. Fine, I admit it. I dropped the bronze key in the fairy pond. That's what we're looking for. It was an accident, but it won't be such a problem if we'd made a spare. He's right, though. Always make a spare, guys. <laughs> Mega bike magazines. Tips and tricks. You can quickly defeat enemies by exploding the red barrels. Similarly useful are the blue electrical generators found on some walls. Okay, so we're going to be shooting that. I have no change on me. Oh, we kicked it. <laughs> we got to make it. Look at that. We're going to make it. Handgun ammo came out. Oh, let's keep kicking it, guys. Let's keep kicking it. Antidote. Are we still, we're just going to keep getting stuff. Nothing came out. Okay, that's it. So we got we got three things from it. Okay, guys, if this is the first look of uh, Crow Country and you haven't played it yet and you're going to jump into it, make sure you kick it three times. Okay. Um, right, so if I press X, that re uh, reloads. Uh, flashlight. Okay. Let's use the D-pad. We'll use the D-pad on this. We've got to find the fairy pond. So this is Fairy Tale Town. Pretty sure the pond's going to be here, isn't it? One, a uh, two one zero six. I think it's written in blood. Is it code for something? Two one zero six, guys. What's this mushroom here? Two one zero six. Just try and remember stuff. Oh, who's this guy? Sir, what happened here, man? What? Who? My name is Mara Forest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Half a mole. I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Alpha? Those things. I don't know. Those people. They saw me and... Alright, stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. I should help him. What did you say your name was? Mara. Come on. I think we should take a look at your leg. Give him healing item. Antidote. Or med, med kit. Just give him med kit. We got it from the vending machine, didn't we? We got it, so. Thanks. Anything else? I still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's move you to somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. Move Arthur. Let's move him. Let's move him somewhere safe. I don't know where he's safe in this place. By oh, the big... Oh, we're just... Are we stuck him in... Stuck him in the car? Yeah, fair play. I'll move Arthur to my car. He'll be safe there for now. Oh, fair play to you. Right, so something was up here. Uh, what was it again? 2106. Okay. Oh! Is that what it... I just ran into... 
I just ran into a bear trap. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, look at this little mushroom thing. Or giant mushroom. He doesn't look very happy. Is it a door? Can't see my way through. What's it say here? Tree lady. 3184. 3184. Let's, uh, we better be writing these down, don't we? 2106 and 3184. Okay. Is that blood? It's a laser sight for a handgun. Of course we want it. <laughs> yes. Uh, now we've got a laser sight. This looks like a med kit. That's pretty cool. Right, so what is this here? When shooting, your bullets will do more damage if you're closer to the enemy. By attempting to shoot enemies are far away, you will use it your ammo supplies more quickly. Humanoid enemies will take more damage if you get a headshot. A headshot also has a chance of decapitating some enemies. Right, are we going this way? Or, oh, we've got so many options, haven't we? I'm not allowed to smoke. Okay. She's not old enough then? Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Come. Headshot. Oh, reload. <laughs> we got lucky then. We just we just stomp him in his head. Oh, wrong button. I've got nothing left. We've run past. We've got nothing left. Listen to the music. Contents of geological interest. It's full of rocks. Uh, this is creepy. This is creepy. That noise. The noise. And we've run out of bullets. Oh no, this is giving me vibes of the first time I saw. I played Resident Evil. Read it. When shooting, your bullets will do more damage. Okay, we read that bit. Are these little clippets from the... Uh... We've got a map. Let's go to the letter. Legal summons. I'm writing to you in relation to the incident which occurred within your theme park in 1988. As you know, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. The incident occurred within your premises and within working hours as such. The Marshall family is holding you personally responsible. So this is two years prior. Yeah, two years prior. Your presence here is required in court. We expect to hear from you immediately. Sincerely, G. Williams, State Court. That's quite good for me. I'm not very good at reading out loud. Staff memos. Drop the bronze key. That's the one with, yeah. There's an ashtray. You don't smoke. This is quite chilled music, considering. So make it. Okay, so we're going to have to use the med kit. Ah, oh, we're critical. She's fine now. She's fine. And here's the map. So we're there. Oh, these were just doors. So we could have gone into those. Okay. Right, let's get some stuff from the... Yeah. Do we get three more stuff from the uh, vendor machine? Really liking this, to be honest. Anything drop? Nothing. Okay. So we got some. Okay, we have got some ammo. I'm gonna be careful here, though. Uh, tips and tricks. What's this here? If you're using to move, you can do a 180 turn by pressing that. That's it. Okay. Beautiful. GGs, devs. GGs. Thanks for putting these little tips on. Excuse me. Oh, listen, listen to it, man. That's so creepy. I wanted, I want to find out the soundtrack and the stuff that didn't make it either. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! There's people here already. 
been done here, guys. We've been done. Go up the stairs. We just we just dodge them. We dodge them, right? It's a wheel. It doesn't turn. It's a swan head. We need to put something in its mouth. That doesn't work. That's broke as well. We're now to repair it. Can we go in? No. Okay. So we'll have to grab something before we come back here then. Different mu different music for different rooms. Oh, a bit something there. Right, okay, so it's locked. Okay. So that's a swan boat. Okay, we can't go that way. And we can't go. Couldn't go in that for a country there. I feel like we should have checked them rooms. Should we check them rooms before we go? Oh, we already ran into you. There's going to be enemies here now, isn't there? Right, so we couldn't go in there. Oh, that's what we missed. Silver door. Something wrong with it. Oh, we've been a bear trap again. Great. The nemesis of the game. A bear trap. Right, so we can't go that way. Bronze key. Ammo. Yes, please. There's the buzzing. Okay. There's... We haven't tried this one here. Okay. Let's go into this one. Everything else is all locked. Ammo. <laughs> the running water. Listen to the sound. And it's... Whoa! Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's something else in the toilet there. I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out, bud. <laughs> right, there's the crows. Okay, let's go back to... Let's go back on track. Okay, so the map said it was just basically... We're just going forward. Oh, the creepy music's back, guys. The creepy music is back. Oh, there he is. Oh, pick up the Polaroid. Whoa! He's there. Um... Saying there. Just where we went through. Yeah, this is where we went through. Okay. Right, let's just go straight on. Let's go straight on. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Look at this. Cosmic future. Coming summer 1990. The vibe. They've got the vibe right, man. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> mm, the swan bones. We need... Is it a chain? Is that what it said? Looking for the machine chain. One of the swan boats. People took it to fix the broken swan. Told them to not take it and they took it away. Can't lose it. Okay, so it's a chain. Okay. Haven't written a letter. Hey, Ed. Want some good news? Finally found a good site for our gold mine. It's in power. Just like we wanted to give a disused mine here. Ooh, okay. Right, let's see what else. Give me nothing, man. Give me nothing. Oh, wrong bit. So never happen now we don't go this way then this is a dead end
Oh, here we go. Oh, what was what was the thing on the floor? Are they following me? He's moving close. He's moving close. What was the thing on the floor? Uh, three, one. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. No. Three. Was that headshot? I don't think he's got a head. <laughs> I don't think he had a head. That was not a headshot. Okay, so that opened, which meant this opened. I think I remember. You have to talk to her. Oh, it's the fi Okay, you're right. I'm with you. I'm with her. I don't remember what it was, though. Oh, no, nor me. It's um, but it's 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 done now, isn't it? Two one six zero. Oh. It's a different code. What did it say on the board? It helps to pay attention, guys. Hey, we got a bed kit. Uh, shooting bullets, not that one. Fortune teller. Talk to the tree fairy to enter the fairy pond. You have nine credits remaining. Would you like to know more? Yes. The code for the keypad has been written down and left on the ground in fairy tale town. The phrase to say to the tree fairy is written on a memo in Crow's Lounge. That's it. Crow's Lounge. Okay. I like this. I know it's a bit of backwards and forwards, but it's because my memory is really bad. <laughs> my memory is really bad, so I'm just like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Rose Lounge. Okay, so we go past these. We go past your man up here. Head to the Crow's Lounge, guys. And your boy's still here somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Out the way. Right, it's written in... So that's the memos that I'm finding. Okay, we'll redo this again. Oh, there's nothing there then. All that glitters. These are all the tips that I've found. Oh, here we go. Hear me, oh great fairy of Forests, fairest forest. Okay, we are <laughs> guys. We're gonna remember. We're gonna we're gonna screenshot this because we're gonna forget this. I know it's so simple, but if you've seen any of my Twitch streams, guys, you know for a fact my memory does not last long. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Where's your man? There he is. Whoa! See that spider? Spider jumped out of the the window. Hear me, oh great fairy, fairiest forest. Yes. Welcome, child. You will protect our precious natural world. I will. Follow me. Oh, secret door. Secret passage. Here we go. This is well thought out. Of the pond. 
It's filthy. Those who seek the truth stare into the pure reflective water of our fairy pond. What's beyond here? There's a dial and a lever. Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm poisoned. Yeah. So we got poisoned. Can be tightened. Oh, we see the little dial there. It's going up. Let's tighten it so it's... If I do this, then the lever, when it's in the white, when it's in the white, uh, also, she's poisoned again. Mara. It's a reflective pool. Those who seek the truth stay into the pure reflective water of our. It's a reflective. So the guy who fixed the water filter did it by running it through the air ventilation system. If you run the filter, could have done with this earlier. Filter pump behind the curtain with the incorrect pressure, too high or low, it will trigger the ventilation. Be careful. You can tighten up the pressure using the valve handle. But it's not filthy now, is it? So let's see what's through this door. Oh no. The door just closed on me. Who took the Ocean Kingdom restaurant trident? That thing is expensive, and without it, we can't do the happy birthday sea monster song. Someone said they saw it in the Witchwood. I'll go check, but this place gives me the creeps. Yeah, it gives me the creeps, dude. Bin? Full of trash. Someone put a make it in there. <laughs> oh, yes, please. And this shotgun shells. Oh, <laughs> it means we're going to get a shotgun. Oh, yes. I can live with that. Page for the magazine. Watch out for Metal Bear Trap. Oh, it's too late now. Come on. Oh, look at X is reload. Nothing's on fire. What are you telling me that for? You can hear something behind the wall. We don't shoot the wall then. Shoot this. Head kit. That's on me. I, I can't blame the devs. I can't blame anyone else. That's on me. I keep thinking circles reload. But it's X. Um, okay, so. We're in a mystery place right now. In the fairy pond. But we can't, we can't get any further. I'll go check, but that place gives me the creeps. Okay. So we have to go to the Witchwood, but we can't... We can't go through here. Okay. Let's head back then. Do we do this again? I wonder if we do this again. We don't need to. He won't let us. Read the gameplay tips posted on the walls around Crow Country. In every save room, there's a magazine containing all the gameplay tips you've read so far. Oh, so that Crow... The Crow Lounge is a, is a save room. A 
Same fairy pond and swans. Key. Unsolved puzzles, of course. So the S is the save room. Okay, there's the uh, the information we need there. Unknown door, open door. The toilet, when in the toilet? I mentioned something about the witchwood. Unknown door, that's what we need. We need that unknown door. Let's have a look. Headshots! Now we reload. We get anything from their bodies? No. Okay. So, we know we can't go through that door. We can't go through that door. Um, unsolved. Turn it round. The quickest way to Tolman's office is through the fairy pond area, right? Problem is, we've got to have to get this stupid tree, and I guess I need a code for the keypad, and then what? I'm sure, it's written down somewhere. Okay, so we got that. We got that one. That's the crow's lounge. We also got the key, the, the two one oh six. We've also got that as well. It could be like attack, but without shooting. Oh, that's paid off, isn't it? That's paid off. What about a little post box? Ah, okay. There's a bronze key. Ah, uh, we haven't got a bronze key. Bronze key's in the pond. Oh, there's another chest there. We know what these chests are for now. So we need a bronze key. It's a silver key. There's a large med kit. She's been poisoned a bit, hasn't she? Door is locked. I know I've just gone around in circles here, guys. Bronze key again. That's open. This is this is where the car is, right? Maybe we can get some information from your man. Let's see. Let's see. I'm okay. There we go. Checking on a friend. We got a trophy, guys. Our first trophy in Crow Country. You can be honest, your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's throbbing. Feels weird. And you have a headache and feel kind of queasy? How did you know? The thing that hurt you, it hurt me too. Not the exact same one, but still. Do I need to go to the hospital? Mm. Now we? Just sit tight, alright? You'll be safe in the car. Anything in there? We have another app. X. Okay. Is there anything? El Crow. That is the El Crow. There's a medkit there. Getting familiar with what things look like now. Oh, the CCTV's moving. You see that? Look at it. Look at that CCTV. Someone's watching me. Right, we've got two unsolved puzzles. See if there's anything worth picking up around here.
Let's let's de defeat this guy. Let's defeat the guy in here, whatever he's called. Listen to him. There we go. Just walk over his body. There's his carcass. All right. Strange sighting at the abandoned theme park. Aspiring paranormal photographer Alpha Mole sent in a Polaroid he took while it. That's the hands. That's the hands. Could this be possibly be real, or is it just another hoax? Oh, it's another one. Okay, that's two photos we've seen there. Ah, oh, we've got to clear the toilet with something. Covered in blood. Okay. Well, at least we've got some. Yeah, at least we've got some more info there. <laughs> GG's, Dev. GG's. Can't go to the toilet without uh, washing your hands or drying them. Yeah, let's get some more tips. We've got eight more tips, it says. Eight credits remaining. Would you like to hear another fortune? Yes, please. I guess in, it's in doubt we come here. The bronze key fell into a magical pond. Uh, we know that, but we couldn't get it out of that pond. We need something to fish it out. Go to the fairy pond in the fairy tale town. Clean the water with the pump to see a reflection on your target. I get that. That's where we were, weren't we? Was I just sat I stood in the wrong place? Oh, it's not giving us anything. It's not giving us anything new. It's just telling us we're an idiot. Right. <laughs> right. I know. I know the pump. We've cleared the pump, and we can see our reflection. Reflective pool. This is our reflection. We can't. Nothing happened. See, look, nothing happened. If we come here, we can't click on this anymore. Or is it telling me to move the camera to the point where I can see it? See her reflection. Well, we can't, we can't see her reflection. Come on, Villa. Come on, Villa. Think, think outside the box. There's the pool. The reflection. Can we shoot it though? No. So now we're only le we're left with one now. <laughs> Oops. Why can't I see my reflection in it? Stump guys. Let's jump back to the swans. People are probably shouting at me now on this YouTube video going, Villa, it's this, it's this. So this just still doesn't turn. There's a hole in the fence. This one breaks down, just take the egg out of the wheel system. 
doing so disables the radio signal and locks the wheel until you get a mechanic to come to fix it. So we need an egg. Some more shotgun shells. Teasing that we're going to get a shotgun soon. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily it turns out you can use anything. As long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assume that the eggs were magnetic or something. But apparently not. I'm gonna put an egg in that in that mouth, guys. I think we're just going around in circles here, and that's on me. What's wrong with that one? That's like twitching there. Okay, we've got a bit of a bit of room now because we've. That's a smoking thing. We still haven't killed this guy, have we? Because we've only got one bullet. Listen to him. Listen to him. Crazy. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, just quickly. Is there anything in here that we could use? We could use a rock. Oh, we won't let us use a rock. Okay. Okay, there's something on the wall. You can ask why the dig site access is that cute little house. I don't think there's a chance someone could ever want to go in there. We're gonna end up getting in that house. How do we get in that house? This is a save room. Bookshelf full of mining stuff. We had that. We had that. How cool is that? A fireplace to save. That's awesome. Guys, that was awesome. This is Crow Country. Thank you to Neon High for giving us a code for the TS Villa channels. It's given me PS1 vibes. They are marketing it as that kind of game, which is 100%. Feels like I'm playing on the PS1 again. In a good way, guys. In a good way. So, it gives me Resident Evil, Final Fantasy VII kind of PS1 vibes, which I absolutely love. I still play these games to this day. So, thank you, devs, for creating this game. This has been absolutely awesome. The atmosphere in this game has been like... It's been unreal. You've got it. You've got it right. And it also, we, we saw in the game there, we, we had the, uh, the sound of the flies, the crows... Uh, the hand dryers, <laughs> everything, everything around it is absolutely perfect. So well done, guys. Well done. Uh, if you got this far in the video, please make sure you give it a like. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please smash that subscribe button. I've been TS Villa. This has been Crow Country. Thank you again, Neon High, for giving us the code. I will catch you next time. Take care.